Hello and welcome to this video of machine learning do it yourself tutorials. In this video we are going to do hands on on KNN algorithm which we have been learning in last few videos. So we are going to use a new data set to apply KNN algorithm using the Euclidean distance. Now this data set is available on this location. Now let's let's see the data set. It's glass identification data set which is being used to understand the type of glass based on its components on refractive index sodium magnesium and so on and so forth and this data set has been created for doing the classification algorithm so you can download this data set from this link which is also available in the description section of this video. Go to the data folder and download this class data. You would see the, the values and at the very end the classification. If you rename the file from data to .csv you can open it in Excel as well. Now let's see what you have to do here. So choose k equals to the square root of the number of training sample and this is the function for KNN which you're going to use. Remember you may have to use the normalized function which we discussed in the last video and this is the function of normalize. In order for you to help do this tutorial, I'm going to do a couple of steps on our previous data set to normalize it. So let's go back and I have written these two statements for normalization. So remember balance CSV and let's do a summary of balance CSV. Remember that this was a very good data set because this was normalized to start with. Each and every weight was between 1 to 5. So we were good. But it may not happen with every data set and that's where we would use normalize function. So I'm using the normalize function on the previous data set but you would use the same function on the new one. The statement for this can be found in the script file which is knn.r script which is available on the google drive link in the video section in the description section of the video below so let's see what does normalization do So this is the balance CSV and this is the normalized balance CSV. You can see that all it does was change the scale from 0 to 1 for each and every data set. And this may be really helpful when you are doing the hands-on exercise. Thank you for watching. 